let it be known that I actually don't know how emotes work, so. <laughs> I felt like that was um bound to fail either way. Because some are, some are, like, universal emotes that work no matter what, I think. And then some are ones that you have to make work or something like that. And I'm just not quite sure which are which. Are which. But I see them every now and then on this platform, oddly enough. So I thought... When I give it a try. One of these days I'll figure it out. But hello. <laughs> hello, hello, and welcome. Um, okay, so it's been a little while. It feels like it's been forever just because I skipped Saturday, but getting back into it. You need extensions for certain emotes? Why? <laughs> I'm a bit confused as to why. And also I don't know like how how can do you tell which ones? Well, whatever. Maybe they're just more, um, you know, technologically advanced emotes, and they require an extra step. <laughs> uh, as I get further into that, you know, kind of emote territory, I'll explore it. Um, because I've also been thinking of making emotes, like, of my own, which I can't do yet, because, uh, I'm not, like, an affiliate or whatever, and that's how you get emotes, but I think about it sometimes. Better TTV or something? I will look into that to see what 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 can be done about that. Um, because I do think it's interesting, and I am just like I don't know, more interested in having that element in streams, just because I think it's a fun fun thing to do. Um. So yeah, but I mean, <laughs> right now I have no knowledge, so I'll have to go and and see. What the deal is with that um alrighty so this this is the last case of the first game i'm excited yet nervous <laughs> so okay yes we're getting into rise from the ashes which i find a, to be a very fitting name considering our protagonist ha ha har har i love puns so I like this case particularly not just because it's long, but also because it like incorporates a very different cast of characters from the previous four. It feels extremely separate from the rest of the game, the cases from the game. Yeah, yeah, like a phoenix, he's reborn. Which I find funny because in the last case he never exactly like failed or like fell from grace, but whatever, we'll take it. Um, so yeah, I do like this case, particularly because it feels very distinct from the other four, probably because it was made later, <laughs> which is to be expected, but I do like the- it feels like a nice change of pace. So, I'm excited to get into it. It's my favorite from my first game. Um, alright. Let's just waste no time. Also, it's hot as fuck here, so I might be taking more breaks than usual, just as a preface. Anyway, let's get into it. Yes. All right. I love the intro. Has some sexy 3D animation involved. Ooh, that parallax. What the music? Very intense. I think that's so cool. I think that's so cool. Oh? Oh? Hi. Hmm. That's interesting how in, in the beginning that 3D, the silhouettes were doubled but it only panned up to one and didn't do any more mirroring after that. Okay, anyway. It's been two months since Maya left the office. Oh yeah, she's back to her training. Oh, no more Maya voice for a little while. I liked hers. Two months without a single trial. I've had offers, but none I took. How are you paying rent? That is, till the day that girl showed up. Who girl? 
Okay, apparently he just goes to the office and just sits around all day and then leaves? Alright. Same. Why do I come here to the office every day? Not like I want to work. There you are! Finally! Where have you been? My sister's trial is tomorrow! Uh... <laughs> hey! Um... Who are you? I know, he, he really does put them off. They're staring you in the face, Phoenix. You gotta do it sometime. It doesn't matter who I am. It only matters who you are. The famous defense attorney, Mia Fey. Uh... Um... Do you want me to call Maya channel her for you? Oh, uh, you're not Mia Fey, are you? I'm sorry, but Miss Mia Fey no longer works here. Yeah, that's one way to put it. So you are the coffee boy? I'm Phoenix Wright, a defense attorney. Right, right. Wait, you're THE Phoenix Wright? The Phoenix Wright from the Edgeworth murder case? Uh, yes, that's correct. It wasn't Edgeworth who was murdered, though. <laughs> that's a relief, then. You're better than nobody. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I'm not taking cases right now. But you are Phoenix Wright, right? The undefeated defense attorney? Look, I'm not accepting- I'm not- no. I'm not accepting any new cases. I'm sorry, but you'll have to try elsewhere. Please! I'm out of time! But... Please, you have to help. It- It's my sister. <gasps> what is that? Feels like a callback. Maya? Could it be? Were you reincarnated into this girl? Okay. I'll hear you out. But really? Thank you so much! My name's Emma. Emma Skye. I'm a scientific investigator. Scientific investigator? She does look like a quirky scientist. Let's talk to you a bit more. Oh, she's got her ID. She's got... Bile? What are these? Chemicals? You just carry that around with you? Alright. Go for it. Emma, was it? Emma? I said that weird. I don't really know how you would say that. Whatever. Emma, was it? So, you're a scientific investigator? Yes, that's right. Is something wrong? No, it's just, you seem, uh, kind of jumpy. Or maybe just young? Young? I'll be 16 years old this year. Oh, I see. Wait, only 16? I'm set to be formally assigned to forensics in three more years. My work is becoming quite well known. At my age, no less. Uh, so what exactly is your current position, then? Well, legally speaking... I guess you'd call me an 11th grader. <laughs> but I'm ready to do my job. At my age, no less. Great, another future professional in training. Okay, that's sweet. She's got ambitions. So what's this about a case? You said the trial's tomorrow. My sister didn't do it. She wouldn't stab someone with a knife. She wouldn't. Very specific. Would she stab someone with something else? So, it's a murder case. I don't care if there's a witness who saw her do it. She didn't do it. <laughs> okay. I know she didn't do it. It's a scientific fact. And there's a witness. Just talk to her. You have to talk to her. Right. I suppose I will. I promised her I'd bring me a fay, but... Interesting. How would she know Mia? Yeah... Anyway, so, you want to be a scientific investigator when you grow up, huh? Then? When you grow up then? I read that as, huh? <laughs> Excuse me? I'm not a child, I'll have you know. Still, it's good to have a goal, albeit a very unusual one. I believe investigations should be done scientifically. Yeah, that's a good rule of thumb. Don't you? How do they do them now? Uh, yeah. Sure can't fault her for a lack of enthusiasm. If this case is handled scientifically, I'm sure my sister's name will be cleared. Your sister? I've been doing research, you know. I'm developing a new scientific method of case investigation. I'll show you when I'm done. I'm looking forward to it. Guess I should get down to the detention center and talk to her sister. 
I'm assuming what? That that trials and investigations rely on what? Witness testimony alone? They do get a lot of witnesses. My sister asked for Mia specifically. This Mia Faye person was a few years below her in school. So they went to the same school, huh? She always told me to go to Mia if I ever needed a defense attorney. And, well, <laughs> I need one. Uh, incidentally, Mia is a woman. Now that you mention it, it I guess it is more of a woman's name than a man's. Well, it's nice of you to help your sister out like that. You must be close. Oh? Touchy? I'm sorry. Well, actually, when she gets like she is now, I kind of hate her. Huh? But she's my only family. Your only family? What about your parents? They died in a car accident when I was little. That was easier for her to answer than, than her relationship to her sister. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, um, is that anything? Hey, guess what, I'm a lawyer? See this? It's my attorney's badge. Ah, well, I've never seen a real one before. You're the first one who's actually been interested in mine, believe me. Its composition is mostly silver. Gold plating is flaking a bit. She analyzed it. Scientifically. There doesn't appear to be any corrosion due to sulfides. I give you fifty dollars for it. Sorry, but it's not for sale. <laughs> Yet? <laughs> what? I thought you were planning on being a lawyer for what forever. Anyway, detention center time. Are you gonna be okay? Hmm. I wonder what's wrong with Emma. She got quiet all of a sudden as soon as we arrived. Guard. I thought I told you I didn't want visitors. Sorry, ma'am. It's j just just your sister. No excuses. Did you not want to raise this here, hmm? Uh, understood, ma'am. What was all that about? Oh, she's mysterious already. Uh, hi, Lana. Funny. I seem to remember specifically telling you not to come here. Perhaps my memory is failing. Look. I didn't want to come here either, okay? But your trial's tomorrow, and you still don't have a defense attorney. I'll be the one in court tomorrow. It has nothing to do with you, Emma. Isn't that right? Mr. Wright. Uh, hey, how do you know me? Mia mentioned you. I've heard quite a bit. Uh, I'm sorry, what exactly is it that you do? My name is Lana. Lana Sky. I'm chief prosecutor for this district. You're a prosecutor? <gasps> wow. More prosecutors exist than Edgeworth? <laughs> Two sisters. One a lawyer. Could this be a coincidence? Emma? Lana? I mean, they're just like... This is just lampshading that they're the what? They're like, copy-pasted? I mean, that's not the best writing in the world, but it's still- this situation in and of itself is still interesting. Is something wrong, Mr. Wright? But I guess, you know what, the fact that they- they use that kind of, like, cookie-cutter status uh, of these sisters as- they use it as fuel for Phoenix to take the case, but- so, I guess it is thematically relevant and not just a loophole. Pothole? Loophole? Whatever. Lazy writing is what I'm trying to say. There's something you should know from the start. Which is? The suspect in this case has confessed to the crime. Huh? Wait! But the suspect... The suspect is... Me. I did it. Well, Mr. Wright? Oh. <laughs> well. Uh, why don't you begin by telling me exactly what happened? The crime took place yesterday. February 21st at 5.15 p.m. It's quite specific. It was in the witness's deposition. A witness clearly saw me committing the crime. Uh... My, that was a bit of bad luck, wasn't it? The crime took place in the underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. The body was found in the trunk of my subordinate's car. Prosecutor's office? The prosecutor's office, huh? 
in your subordinate's car trunk? Lassie. I was arrested on the spot. Caught red-handed, as it were. Well, that's just great. Cool. So, who was the victim? An investigator with the police department. I suppose the correct term is detective. A detective? Death was due to a loss of blood. He was stabbed once in the stomach. By you? Death wasn't immediate, but the wound was fatal. I see. Allow me to repeat myself, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective. You know what that means, don't you? Uh-oh. What? Mr. Wright, what does it mean? Well, it means... The police department will consider it a matter of pride to have me found guilty. They will use any means at their disposal to do so. Oh, this case gets worse and worse with everything I learn. Hey, cool. So, you're the chief prosecutor? That is correct. I'm responsible for overseeing every trial handled by prosecutors in this district. I make sure the prosecutors have what they need to do the job, and manage every aspect. Those are my responsibilities. Nutshell. It's an awfully large nutshell. Still, I'm a little surprised. I would think you'd recognize the district's chief prosecutor, Mr. Wright. Huh? In fact, it seems impossible you wouldn't. Oh no, I don't actually do any research on anything. I don't know how this lawyering stuff works. Oh, Lana, what happened to your hand? Oh, this? I cut myself by accident. When I stabbed him, that is. Huh? I'm not very good at being a criminal, I suppose. Oh, that statement is, um, interesting. So she- obviously she doesn't have a track record of killing people, or committing crimes. Which means it could have been an accidental murder. How am I supposed to defend this? <laughs> Time to change the subject. Wait, she was in the class ahead of Mia, wasn't she? So let's talk about that. Um, you were in school with Mia, correct? A few years above her? Emma told you that too, did she? Did she? Well, why not? I did drag him all the way here from his office. Although it seems he has very little in common with Mia. He's a shit defense attorney. <laughs> hey! It was in law school. I was in my third year, and she was auditing the class. She was different than the other students. Different? She was strong. She'd do anything to become a defense attorney. Anything. That was probably why she was attracted to me. Oh? Little, like, I, uh... A love interest? Excuse me? Intellectually attractive. Lana was top of her class in school. Also romantically. <laughs> I was the best there was. Oh. I'm doing pretty good in school too, by the way. <laughs> okay, good job, Emma. Sounds a bit different when Emma says it. <laughs> I'm sure they're both bright. Well, Mr. Wright? Uh, excuse me? As you can plainly see... I am admitting my guilt. I think it's safe to say, there is no way you can take this case. None. But, but Lana! Why? Why are you doing this to me? You never think of anyone but yourself. I know you didn't do it, Lana, I know! So, so how can you say you did? I lose you, I'll be all alone. I... I hate you, Lana. Oh, shoot. Already some conflict. Mr. Wright. Yes? I believe our discussion here is ended. The rest, I leave to you. <gasps> yeah, I know, I wasn't expecting the already tension building. Um... You mean you're requesting my services as your defense? <laughs> you uh, obviously don't have any faith in me. Don't lose any sleep over it. Your client has confessed, after all. The case is over. Right. I'll do what I can to get to the bottom of this.
Hmm. Anna has confessed to the crime, yes. Something doesn't fit. It's that look in Emma's eyes. There's something else going on here. I'm gonna find out what. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. Huh? About what? My sister. She's not always like that, you know. I just never expected to be defending another prosecutor again. She's changed a lot. She used to be so gentle, always smiling. Everybody liked her. I see. Sorry, but I'm having trouble imagining that. Yeah, she's pretty- she's a stone-faced individual. Well, what happened to her? I don't know for certain myself. I think maybe she- well, maybe not. Sounds like there's something there that defies a simple scientific explanation. Let's go check out this underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office, shall we? Oh, okay! She is ready! Let's move! Or do we talk to her? Nah, no. Okay, let's go. Head out. Oh, lots to look at already. Ooh, a stepladder. Whatever's going on here. A phone. Okay. Whatever that is. So this is the lot where it all happened. Looks like they're still investigating. Funny that my first visit to the prosecutor's office should be like this. Hey everyone! Keep up the good work! Uh, hey, what are you thinking? Well, they're gonna be my co-workers three years from now, after all. No harm in saying hello. Uh, actually, there is. You know attorneys aren't supposed to examine crime scenes? What? Are you shitting me, Phoenix? That's so unfair for the defense attorney. Trying to not stand out too much here, see? Hey there, what? Oh, you expecting to go unnoticed here, partner? Partner? Hey, hi. <laughs> He's one of my faves. What do we have here? Looks like a bambina got loose from the ranch and is up to no good. Folks gotta learn to keep them doggies tied down, partner. Uh, Mr. Marshall? You know him? Marshall? Looks more like a sheriff to me. Look at here, Bambina. I know how you feel. I know! His OST is nice. But this is my gang's gold strike, see? Okay. Strike? This is our claim. Our territory. With a mother load of evidence. If you're fixing a mess with what's ours, you'll regret it, partner. You know what dreams the cacti out in the desert dream? You want to? <laughs> what is this guy talking about? He speaks in riddles. You head along home now. Happy trails, Bambina. No, we just got here. Was that a hombre, a friend of yours? Oh, kind of. Sort of? Yeah, he's a detective. Who thinks he's a sheriff from the Wild West, it seems. Interesting. Interesting little character gimmick. Okay, what's going on here? What's going on here? Aha! A ladder. Uh, that's a step ladder. What's the difference? In, in scientific terms, please. Scientific, huh? Look at the basic nature of things, Mr. Wright. This all seems so horribly familiar somehow. <laughs> uh, apparently this is not important. Door? Look! A door! This must mean something! I'm not sure that doors mean anything. I don't know! It won't open! A mysterious lock. You have to see what's mysterious about it. Mr. Wright, you need to learn to enjoy life more. Let's finish our investigation first, shall we? You can do both. Phone. Here, a phone. Let's see if it works. Hey, don't touch stuff when we don't- Oh, don't touch stuff we don't need to be touching. I can't hear anything. My ears! <gasps> no, my ears! Maybe it's due to the barometric pressure. What is she babbling about? Hey, what did you just say? See, you can hear just fine. The phone's broken. Ha. <laughs> I like her. She's goofy. This wall is in our way. 
Got a faucet for water. You can literally walk around it, Emma. <laughs> Wait, I know. This wall is merely a facade, hiding the truth. This is no wall, but a water tank. I fail to see how it makes any difference either way. Oh, I like her. Uh, slide. Oh, what might all this be? That's a big car. Well, no time to waste. Let's get hunting for clues. Hmm, I wonder what this is. Well, partner, looks like you got no intention of going home quietly. Oh, sorry, we're just snooping. The sheriff. Like I said before, this here's our claim. You'd best be moseying along. Unless you're fixing to bite the bull. Ugh, scary. Could you just tell us one thing? Who owns that car? Hmm. Well, well. Little Philly's got a good nose on her. You wanna know who rides that red Mustang with the body in her saddle, eh? Please. No problem, partner. About time for vittles, anyway. Get yourself to the saloon up on the 12th floor of the prospector's office. Prospectors? Alright. Might just find you a... And that, that might just find you a cerveza you like. Prospector's office? Where does this guy think he is? And when, for that matter. Note to self. Look up Vittles Saloon Cerveza. Maybe we should check out room 1202. The High Prosecutor's Office. Interesting. Sounds important. In any case, stay away from the car. You can look around here all you like, just keep your paws off our plane. Right. Great. Uh, bye bye Right. Maybe there are some clues around here, Mr. Wright. Let's check it out. Okay. I didn't look at this thing. What's this? A wallet? Uh, excuse me, officer. A uh, wait! What are you doing, Mr. Wright? What am I doing? I just found this wallet, so I'm handing it over to the police. I don't believe it. This is real basic. Anything at a crime scene is evidence. Let's be scientific about this, please. Just put it in your pocket. Let's be scientific about this, but also let's steal. And how is that scientific? Sounds like theft to me. Anyway. Okay, it seems to be something inside, I would assume so. I'm called to duty already. And at my tender age, here, I'll teach you the trick to examining evidence in detail, okay? The way her eyes are sparkling, I can tell she's been waiting for this. Okay, okay, now, look at the court record. Okay, doing it for me. Cool. You have to be sure to examine evidence carefully on all sides. Maybe this time around, maybe this playthrough, I should look at, I should examine every piece of evidence we get. Some of them you don't really have to. Now, <laughs> I know, he is a bit complacent. Whatever. <laughs> Stealing's fun anyway. Let's start examining from every angle. It's really just Maya who's like the biggest culprit though. Oh, oh look, I think there might be a clue here, really? You should check it out with this um thing. Okay, there. Wow! This... this is an ID card. Sergeant Bruce Goodman. ID all that shit. See? Well, isn't scientific investigation useful? Yes. Though I don't see what science has to do with it. <laughs> just... just investigation. Okay. Interesting. Let's be sure to examine every piece of evidence we find. Guess I've gotta be on my toesies from now on. Excuse me. Were you two- oh! Were you two all set? Us? New character! For some reason, I just love her design. What's this? She couldn't be- You're selling lunches? Here? This is a crime scene! Well, you still gotta eat. Hello! Half and half, was it? Oh, uh, thanks. I didn't order anything. Did she just give these away for free? And you, sir? I guess. Some crunchy goodness coming at you. Uh, thanks. Interesting way of doing business. This area is off limits to anyone without clearance. Especially passers-by. Or are 
are you officers? Uh, no, but you... You don't exactly look like the type to have clearance. Well, that's hardly a way to greet someone. Even if my days as the cough-up queen are over. Cough-up? Huh? She says that I think of cough drop. You know, I'm feeling kind of full. Maybe I'll pass on lunch. I'm quite connected to this case, you see. The images are burned into my eyes, you might say. Yes, all the sordid secrets. Secrets? Dear me, you are a slow one, aren't you? <gasps> Did she witness it? Oh. I'm referring to the murder. The stabbing of that detective. What? Yeah. Hmm. A witness clearly saw me committing the crime. And that might be her. You mean you're the witness my sister was talking about? Please, cough up, queen. Tell us what happened. The name is Angel Star. Don't you go forgetting it. Or before you know it, I'll have you whimpering at my heels. Oh, God. Okay, yes, ma'am. Yikes, she means it. Okay. Sure. She's a very dramatic and intense lunch lady. Somehow, I knew. Yesterday was a day of destiny. I knew something was going to happen. Just like I know that the daily special on Friday every week is salmon. Destiny? Yesterday's special for some reason? You're a defense attorney, right? You should know then. You should know the foul misdeeds of the evil ones who haunt this den of inequity. Evil ones? He's also very poetic. Prosecutors. They have no qualms about, oh, at all about blackening the names of innocents. And yesterday they paid homage to the most evil one of all. They gave an award for King of Prosecutors. What a farce. Well, she's saying there was some sort of prosecutor's convention yesterday. Prosecutor's convention? I was almost compelled to lace their lunches with something foul. She's got something out for these people. Do you have a personal grievance against prosecutors or something? Clearly. Or is there some kind of scientific evidence of this, oh, evil? Young miss. Mock me at your own risk. You'll soon find out why they call me the cough-up queen. Ew. <laughs> the most heinous of all the evil ones. The one they awarded yesterday. It was in his car that they found the body. Proof that he devours the evilest lunches of all. I can't take her seriously. <laughs> really? Really what? I'm totally confused. One thing's clear. This lunch lady has a thing against prosecutors. So why does she come here giving them lunches every day? I feel like you would have just... if you, Just avoid them. Just, just go. Don't make yourself mad. So what exactly was it that you witnessed, Miss Star? It was a fascinating spectacle to be sure. I now feel I know what they say when they talk about a woman's wrath. To see Lana Sky wield that knife so... Oh god! Her knife flashed in anger, bringing him to a sad end. Hmm, maybe she will reveal it. It was truly a sight to see. Y you mean you saw the very moment of the crime? The sound of his silvery ties to this world being cruelly cut still rings in my ears. The rhythmic beat of Lana Sky's knife. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. She told us she stabbed him once in the stomach. So you're exaggerating. Uh, biased, unreliable narrator. Don't trust you. Wait a second. You know Lana Sky? <laughs> of course. It's quite a feat, becoming chief prosecutor. How many lunchboxes of sin did she pack to make that journey, I wonder? She always travels light. Now why would this pretty lunch lady know the chief prosecutor's name? Hmm, uh, could we ask you a bit about yourself, Miss Star? I come here every day to sell lunches. I import only the freshest and best from the Far East. For some reason, the box lunches are a hit here. Why not make the lunches here rather than import them? Did you say something? No. Don't judge my business practice. Only true connoisseurs can understand. The kind you can only tell someone who's tried General Tso's Trilobite lunch set. 
Uh, never mind, you win. <laughs> I don't even want to appreciate part of a trilobite's flavor. Anyway, I come here every day to sell lunches. My boyfriend works in the security room here at the prosecutor's office. Your boyfriend? See the security room over there? Oh, the... the... pretty? The glass wall booth? I sell my lunches, and since I'm here anyway, I drop in to see him. Since you're here anyway, I guess selling lunches is more important than romance. <laughs> so, to scientifically analyze the data available so far, you, Miss Star, are a lunch vendor with an ulterior motive for coming here. Useful analysis. Not. <laughs> okay. Could be. Did you have a bad experience with a prosecutor, Miss Star? I sense some hostility. That's putting it lightly. Hostility? <laughs> Perhaps. Prosecutors are all alike. And the bigger they get, the worse they smell. Kind of like ten-day-old clams in the chowder. I wonder if Miss Star was involved in some sort of legal trouble in the past. That'd be a sure cause of food poisoning. Scientifically speaking, of course. I mean, now you're talking cough-up queen. I thought she was just a lunch vendor, but now I'm not so sure. Uh... Hi, I'm an attorney? A defense attorney must be able to fight. How about you? Do you think you can win? How about tackling Lunchland's Pickle Supreme Lunchbox? Wow, it's really crunchy. A box of pickles? Kind of a sad lunch if you ask me. Uh, hmm, are these FDA approved? Wonder. About this card... Lunchland vendors only accept cash. No cards. Especially not a card belonging to someone else. No, no, this isn't a credit card. It's an ID card. It belongs to a detective. And you're showing to- oh, fuck. And you're showing this to me, the lunch lady. Why? That's like showing a fine honeyed ham to a detective. Why do I always feel like I'm being mocked? <laughs> hmm, well that's all we have for her. Let's go to the high prosecutor's office right after I get some water. Hold on. Okay, water, gotten. Prosecutor's office, we're going. Wow, how bougie. Very fancy, very maroon. This is the kind of room that just screams, I can do the job. Why a change from your office, really? <laughs> oh, thanks. Look, look, there's a trophy or something here. Trophy? What, that shield? It takes real nerve to display stuff like this. Whoever's office this is, they must be a real stuck-up jerk. Phoenix Wright. You never tire of prying into other people's business, do you? That voice. It's me, the stuck-up jerk. Long time no see, Edgeworth. Huh? Ah! Mr. Edgeworth! Huh? You know him from somewhere? Of course! I'm his biggest fan! Sorry for the yelling. My sister introduced us once, uh, and... Oh, right, her sister is the chief prosecutor after all. Well, what brings you here? I'll warn you, I've been known to be a real stuck-up jerk! No, did I... No! It was just Mr. Right here. Uh, he... Oh, hey, don't blame me! Uh, we're just here to investigate a murder case. Murder? A body was found in this nasty, bright red sports car in the parking lot. Hmm? That would be my car. What of it? Fuck! I'm just insulting you so much. Your car? Say one thing, she certainly can scream. Hmm. So, the body was found in your car? That's gotta be- oh my god, were you in it? Go ahead, say it right. Think I did it, don't you? No. No competent murderer would put their body in their own car. 
After all you went through- Oh, after you went through all that trouble to help me last year, no less. And no, we don't think you did it. I mean, it was my sister who stabbed him. Oh, wait, no, she didn't do that. I mean... Wait. So you're the chief prosecutor's little sister, then? Yes, sir. I'm a sky. It, uh... It's nice to meet you again. That didn't sound forced at all. Ah, <laughs> uh, now I remember. You've really grown. I'll admit it was a surprise for me, too. To think that my own car would become the scene of a murder. More surprising still, I'm being forced to prove my superior's guilt. I can understand. Uh, wait, what did you say? Lana Sky is the chief prosecutor. The top prosecutor in the district. She can't prosecute herself, so I'll be the prosecutor at the trial tomorrow. You? Mr. Edgeworth! Oh. Really? To be honest, it's a bit of a miracle I'm still here at all. What do you mean? Rumors. You've heard the rumors about me, haven't you? No, oh, do tell! Gossip! Miles Edgeworth. It's hard to remember a time when there weren't rumors about this guy. Forging evidence, arranging false testimonies, illegal searches, you name it. And then he shot a guy? Thanks to you, my innocence was established in the trial at the end of last year. However, <clears throat> sorry, however, there are some who say I'm the one responsible for the current incident. What? That's crazy! <laughs> Some people need very little excuse to think ill of others. It's a fact of life. Impossible to stop. But... Some of them even go so far as to present me with toys like this. I think it's funny. Toys? A bronze shield? Gotta be a story behind that one. Hmm... Yeah, that's true. Bit fishy. Yeah, these public records of the, the murder case that literally just happened would not have been released to the public. Unless these are rumors within the prosecutor's office, like, hearing it through the grapevine or something. Yeah. Hmm. I feel like especially rumors. Y'all you know, like a little bit of hot goss. Chief Prosecutor Sky. Yes. We first worked together on a case two years ago. It was my first big case. That's right, I remember. Two years ago. I wasn't even a lawyer yet. And what were you doing, Phoenix? Were you still in college? Since then, I always felt that she was looking out for me. It appears I was mistaken. M mistaken Why? I mean, I know she's not the warmest person, but I'm sure she felt some responsibility for you. And... Why? Why did she stab someone in the trunk of my car? Not only that, she stabbed him with my knife. What? What? Mr. Edgeworth, your knife was the murder weapon? To be specific, it was the knife I keep in the toolbox in the trunk of my car. No prints. But yes, the victim's blood. Um, Edgeworth? No prints equals gloves? Or, okay, gloves would mean she probably premeditated. Or she could have, like, you know, put some other piece of cloth around it. Maybe, like, a jacket or, I don't know, some kind of other piece of material. What? What? <laughs> Are you sure you didn't do it? Fuck you, right? <laughs> Come on, can't he take a joke? You have a strange sense of humor, Mr. Wright. Okay, let's take a look around. Let's snoop around Edward's office. A work desk. Quite tidy as one might expect. What a nice desk. Easy to use and easy on the eyes. It's polished so well I can see my own reflection. <laughs> uh, don't worry, right? I thought it was funny. <laughs> oh, he does have an, uh, a very dry, sarcastic sense of humor. And a very... Humorous internal monologue. Strange. Why did I just picture Detective Gumshoe? Aw, does Gumshoe come in and clean Edgeworth's office? 
Maybe I'll take that name flag as a souvenir. I don't. I'll sue you. <laughs> oh my god. Um, that's very funny. What's this? Steel Samurai fanboy. My, my, my. What an amazing bouquet. Not what I clicked on. Just right for Mr. Redforth. No kidding. Hey, there's a card on it. Back from the dead. <gasps> Wendy! Wendy! I've heard that name somewhere before. <laughs> we love a callback. It even has a cravat! Oh my god. And beside it? Giant steel samurai. Wow, I want one. Huh? There's something written on the bottom of his foot. Between a rock and a hard place, <laughs> Wendy. Wendy? She Mr. Redgeworth's fiance? No. <laughs> no, she is not. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, plain ignorance. Okay. Ooh, cute. What a pretty tea set. Uh, I go more for the instant tea bags myself. Amazing. I bet you microwave it too, Phoenix, don't you? The drawer below is filled with packets of tea leaves. They're all sorted by place of origin and flavor. Wow! Look at this royal blend. What an exquisitely splendid concoction. Is your thing is taking a hobby too far? No. It's not. It's, uh, it's, I think it's cool, personally. As a tea, uh, enjoyer myself. Okay. Whoa, these are all case files? They're stacked up to the ceiling. There's even a ladder. Odd. Thought Edgeworth wasn't good with heights. Really? He must have he must have someone get them for him. Oh. <laughs> That's so sweet. Strange. Why did I just pick the detective come shoe? You must study these case reports so closely. He's so cool. Yeah, you wouldn't say that if you saw him sweating bullets up on that ladder. <gasps> Phoenix, you said ladder? I thought you were a team stepladder. Hey, a chessboard! I'm not too up on my chess, but it looks like blue's in a bit of a tight spot. The red knights have surrounded the blue pawn. Huh? Those horses are mounted knights. Their swords have really sharp edges. Check out that poor pawn! His head's kind of spiky. <laughs> kind of reminds me of you. Mr. Redworth must be an avid chess player. Look, what's wrong, Mr. Wright? Edges? Surrounding a pawn with spiky hair? Nah, it's nothing. Uh, they're not all knights, they're just one knight. Whatever. Anyway. Pouch? Mr. Redworth has such a comfy sofa. Sofas like this make me want to curl up and take a nap. I bet he pours over his case files here until the wee hours of the morning. Then he takes off his jacket, rolls up his sleeves, and goes to sleep using his arms as a pillow. Uh, uh, I don't believe it. She's actually daydreaming about Edward working? I bet in the morning he has sofa hair and little creases in his cheek from the seams. He's so cool. Sofa hair is cool? <laughs> she fangirling? I've been wondering, what the heck is this? It has a big K on it. Hmm, prosecutors. Huh, what's that? King of Prosecutors trophy. K -k 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 King of Prosecutors? What? It's a great honor. They send that shield to the best prosecutor each year. What, so? <laughs> you get a little defensive there, Edgy. So that K, that's... K stands for king. Yeah, yeah, you got a problem with that? I didn't design the thing. It is really tacky. King of prosecutors. Kind of like employee of the month, only better. Hmm. Given on the day of the murder? It kind of gives him an alibi, right? He was receiving this award? And I can talk more about it, but uh, I kind of want to look at this. Wow. This jacket is even lacier than his usual ones. This must be his lucky trial jacket. Lucky jacket, right. I've never seen him wear it. I'm sure there's a story behind why it's in a frame. Maybe I'll be naughty and take a picture. 
She's getting way too excited about this. Lamp? No. Window? Yes. Whoa. What a view. It must be nice to have an office on the 12th floor. I guess you would feel... important? Incidentally, were you to jump out this window, the time until impact with the ground would be... She calculating it? Got it. Approximately 3.23 seconds. Well, that's handy to know. Anyway... <laughs> Thanks for facts I didn't want to hear with Emma Sky. So that's the King of Prosecutors' shield, huh? Well done, Antwerp. You must be proud to be the King of Prosecutors. Congratulations, King of Prosecutors! Please stop saying that. Still doesn't explain one thing. Why is the tip of the shield broken off? Uh, can we talk about it? Really nothing else to examine, so... Talk, 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 talk? No? Evidence? Yeah! So basically this says you were the best of the best last year, huh? And take that foolish grin elsewhere, right? Lost a day of work to receive that travesty. Huh? Why is that? I had to go to the police department to receive that broken shield. The police department? Yes, right next to the police station downtown. You've been there, haven't you? Where Detective Gumshoe works? Yeah. The criminal affairs? Yes. Uh, I was wondering something about your shield. Why is it broken? Did they just give you this shitty trophy? <laughs> what does it matter? I've got more important things to worry about. Oh, right. He doesn't seem too concerned about his award, for better or for worse. I don't think he's that good at taking compliments. <laughs> so having an award would probably be like, mm. Yesterday was a very busy day for the prosecutor's office. Maybe we should ask him more about yesterday? Okay, you know what, while we're at it, knife. It's against my policy to discuss evidence with the defense. Especially with you. He doesn't like you much, does he, Mr. Wright? Nah, with Edgeworth it's never personal. It's all about winning tomorrow. Hmm, he's dedicated. Okay, day of the crime. Could you tell me more about yesterday? The day of the murder? Yesterday was the annual cleaning day at the prosecutor's office. Cleaning day? Working with the police department, we sort and file all evidence for solved cases. We call it evidence transferal. It's important because it's in red. Wiping your hands of old cases, in other words. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, and another thing. A ceremony was held at the police department. There's an annual review and awards for outstanding police officers and prosecutors. And that's when you got this shield? I was at the police department yesterday afternoon. I got back here at 5.12, and Lana did a murder at 5.15. That's very precise. People like myself and Mr. Edgeworth pride ourselves on our precision, Mr. Wright. No, I place little faith in my memory. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I've learned that from the from the DO6 case. I can't I can't trust my own memory. The only thing I trust is solid evidence. Oh, you kept your parking stub. Interesting. This is the parking stub from the underground lot. The murder took place around 515. So the murder happened right after you got back. What, right? I'd appreciate it if you'd direct that suspicious glare elsewhere. Um... <gasps> oh no! I forgot this guy existed. Excuse me, but is Mr. Redworth anywhere on the premises? I'm Edgeworth. What is it? I'm here, sir. At the request of the chief, sir. I've got your report, sir. Report? What? Did you find new evidence in the case against Chief Prosecutor Sky? I don't like the way this conversation is going at all. Uh, Sky, sir? No, sir. No name of that kind, sir. Not in this report, sir. I think I just heard Edgeworth's lid blow. <gasps> mm. Sir Edgeworth's lid isn't on very tight, is it? 
I made a clear request to the police department, did I not? I need to focus on the trial tomorrow, so don't bring me anything unrelated. Sir, but, but sir, I'm just following orders, sir. They told me to bring this to you. I wasn't aware of the particulars of your arrangement with us. Give me your name. Uh, yes, sir, yes, sir. Meekins, sir, Officer Meekins. Right, Officer Meekins, take your report and leave. Good luck with that raise next month. Eddie! <laughs> but sir, I didn't know. Poor guy. Looks like he was absent on the day they gave out brains and good luck. Phoenix, he's trying his best. Right. Yes, sir. <laughs> he caught me off guard. As you can see, I'm busy. You may leave now. Let's do what he says, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective from the same department as that patrolman just now. Go down to the police department. You can ask more there. Uh, thanks. He seems to have finally calmed down, at least. Okay. Hmm. Hmm, interesting. Well, I guess we know where to go next. Hi there. Uh... Police department entrance. Not criminal affairs, apparently. Different location. Let's see where this is gonna get us. Uh, what are we even here for? Oh yeah, for more information about the case, because apparently no one's no one's helping us. Whew, we're finally here. Why would they put the police department so far away from the prosecutor's office? Beats me. It took almost 30 minutes by taxi. Traffic wasn't even that bad. Is 30 minutes a long drive? <laughs> Is 30 minutes a long drive? The police department, huh? I've only ever been to criminal affairs next door. Hmm? Well, I guess since it's based in Los Angeles. Mmm, yeah, but still. Eh, but still. Hold on, what's that? <laughs> Disturbing. Why does it undulate like that? Oh, wait, I know. This is the blue badger. I'm trying to make him the police mascot. Wow, Mr. Wright. You sure know a lot about you sure know a lot about the police. Still, he does seem familiar somehow. Why did he get slapped in the face? Forget the blue badger. Who's that next to him? Someone appears to be dancing with the blue badger? Uh oh, he noticed me. He sure is running over here fast. <laughs> oh, hey! Hi, Gumshoe! Hey, pal! Oh, what are you doing here? And that's my line, Gumshoe. Specifically, why were you dancing over there? What? Oh, uh, well... Well, at least he doesn't seem to be busy. This is our chance to get... information. Hey, I'll have you know I'm a very busy man, pal. Okay. Hmm. Well... Give us info, please, please, please. I'll give you one word of advice, pal. You better not agree to defend the suspect in this case. Why not? Huh? Well, it's just that the chief prosecutor has confessed to the crime. She says she summoned the detective to the prosecutor's office and... She killed him. But what if she's not telling the truth? Yes, well... No, come on, pal. There's plenty of evidence against her. But what if the evidence was faked? Hey, pal. Can I speak to you for a second? Huh? Me? Why is this little girl so peeved at me? She's a relative of the suspect. She's Lana Sky's sister. Whoa! The chief prosecutor's little sister. Just please investigate this case carefully, okay? Scientifically. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, by the way, you might want to keep your voices down. You don't want to be overheard using words like faked. Huh? It's just... It's a sensitive issue with us these days. Controversy? What's with that? So, what are you doing here, Detective Gumshoe? Me? Ah, well, nothing really. They kicked me out of criminal affairs. Detective Gumshoe, what did you do this time? 
What do you mean, this time? Then, what happened? I know things are busy right now. I mean, with my sister's case and all. It's true. We've never had a chief prosecutor murder anyone before. Only the highest ranked people are being led into criminal affairs now. The lowest ranking guy in there is our chief of detectives. They're not letting any of us rank and file detectives in at all. None of you? I know this is an important trial, but isn't that a little odd? So anyway, I thought I'd spend the day getting the badger dance down pat. <laughs> uh, isn't there anything else you could be doing? The chief of police himself is directing this investigation, pal. Officer Marshall was assigned to the underground parking lot. Officer Marshall? Now that I think about it, Emma did seem to know that Marshall guy. A patrolman in charge of a crime scene? It's unheard of, pal. Interesting. Uh... <gasps> did you hear? You're gonna be so proud of Edgeworth. Did you hear? Hey, that's it. That's the King of Prosecutors Award that Mr. Edgeworth got yesterday. Were you at the awards award ceremony, Detective Gumshoe? Were you at the award ceremony, Detective Gumshoe? Of course, pal. I got an award for diligence myself. Ah, oh, congratulations. I was wondering, why is that award a shield? And why is it broken? Oh, there's a reason. Uh, um, I'll tell you what it is later. <laughs> Apparently he's forgotten. <laughs> But I was proud of Mr. Redworth for winning that award. Even with all the naysayers in the prosecutor's office. Naysayers? It must be because of the rumors. Can we talk about that? Shoot. Oh, I completely forgot! Wait, I mean, well, okay. I clicked the wrong button. Um, Detective, here's my attorney's badge. You show this to me every time we meet, pal. Real men show their police badge. Enough said. I wish I had a badge. Even an ID card would be nice. And don't you have an ID card? Wait. Speaking of ID cards, I found that detective's card, didn't I? What, you want me to show it to him? Uh, Detective Gumshoe, what can you tell me about this? Huh? Hey, pal, this is a detective's ID card. You can't just keep that. You have to turn it into the police. People like you that get me into so much trouble all the time. Meaning Detective Gumshoe must drop his card a lot. Hmm, let's see. Bruce Goodman. Goodman. Sounds familiar. <laughs> nah, my mistake. I love how they built it up. They gave it a screen shake. They changed his sprite. Oh my god, that's funny. But didn't you work together with him in criminal affairs? <gasps> Whoa! Now I remember. Yeah, good job. Bruce Goodman! He's the victim! That's what I thought. Can you tell us more, Detective Gumshoe? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, okay, cool. Getting somewhere. Thought I would just have to, like, <laughs> flip around the court record for a while. So, this ID card belonged to the victim? He was a detective, like myself. Detective Bruce Goodman. Hmm. Don't you think it's strange? I mean, why would the victim's ID card be lying on the- <clears throat> Sorry, I got caught in my throat. I'm dying. Why would the victim's ID card be lying on the ground where we found it? Good question, Emma. Well, Detective Goodman should have been at the police department yesterday. There was an evidence transferral for a case he handled two years ago. Evidence transferral? Mr. Redworth mentioned that too. But Detective Goodwin was killed at the prosecutor's office. Well, that's the thing. Hard to say this, but word is that Chief Prosecutor Scott called him out there to the parking lot. And Lana's confessing as much. Shoot. I was about to say. Oh. I was like, oh, can't I. I cannot present profiles. I cannot present profiles. But I can look at them. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Wow. Okay. Uh, well, where to now? 
Hello, 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 hello. Anything more for you or what? Can we look at the, uh, can we actually, um, take a look at, oh, we can't, we can't slide over here anymore. Nope, game will not let us. Okay, great. Yeah, everything's, uh, uh, Edgeworth, are you still there? Shoot. Do I want to examine stuff here? Hello, Blue Badger. Uh, I was wondering about that. What, the dancing Blue Badger? It's my masterpiece. Oh, you made this? You made this, Detective Gumshoe? The Chief threw together some designs and I just did my thing, pal. Nice work. It's battery powered, so it can go anywhere. There's no switch, so... It just dance, dance, dances until the batteries die. Poor Blue Badger. Ready to dance until he drops. That's a bit sad. <laughs> oh, now it's evidence. Okay. Very interesting. Do we... <clears throat> Do we want to present it to him? Talk more about it. As a detective, I have to keep my mouth shut on that one. Oh, I know better than to go blabbing on about things I don't know about. No, I wouldn't want you to do that either. Good. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Uh. No, nothing. Nothing there. Detention center? Nope, she's gone. I guess it would be a good place to stop anyway. And I can just. <clears throat> I can just loaf around on Wednesday. And yeah, I'll be playing this on Wednesday. Um. So yeah, okay, yeah, I guess we should just call it, call it good, call it a stream. Alright, so, I think we got pretty far into the investigation, as far as I can remember. We met a lot of characters, uh, met a lot of important people. Officer Marshall isn't even in my profile list, but he should be, because we met him. I think that's strange, but whatever. Okay, yeah. So the schedule for me next week is... Oh, you know what? Let me save before I forget. Cool. Okay, we're just going to keep playing this on Wednesday. Um, I was torn between doing this and doing Hotofu Boyfriend, but I'm like, eh, I'm just in the mood for Ace Attorney right now. So we'll just keep playing it, and we'll get around to it on Wednesday. And then on Saturday, we're going to keep playing Baba Is You. Just like... Just like how my weeks have usually been. We're just gonna do the same old, same old. We've got a system now. I think we've got, we've got a groove going, you know? So, okay. This was fun. Uh, thank you very much for joining me uh, with this new adventure, the very, very last case. I still can't believe it. I'm very excited to see what we get into. Very, very excited. Okay. Let's see if we can get to some more investigating on Wednesday, specifically of that nasty bright red sports car. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, drink water, sleep well, have a snack, stretch, go for a walk if you can, if the weather's nice for you. The weather's real shitty here, but go outside if you can. Just take care of yourself and have a good one. I'll see you around.